Greetings fellow mares, this is Captain Obvious and today I am collaborating with Skyline 6 to add a financial district into Morado City. To start things off, we will need to find the most open area to plop our stock exchange building. The plan is to cluster the financial office structures around the stock exchange which will cause them to pay higher taxes due to being built closer to the stock exchange. When you first plop down the stock exchange, it will start at level 1 and in order to increase the level, you need to invest in stocks to add a certain amount and the maximum level is level 5. So when you open the, the stock, uh, this may seem uh, confusing, but it's actually quite simple. So it depends on the progress of your city. So all the values are different, but what you should be looking for is the highest value. So at most cases, it's going to be the greasy gasoline ink. So for instance, in, in this situation, it's around 9,400. And for me, I also have the, uh, or at, for this city is the chirpy cruises. So if we play the simulation, go times three. So from here, you, you need to wait until the uh, exchange rate drops to about 1.5 to two. If it goes even less, even uh, better. So then, so this for, for instance, is much lower, but the value is not as much. So you're not going to get that much returns. Uh, let's go ahead and try it so you can see the idea. While I am actually looking at, there it is, greasy, went down, okay, bought, and it's already 1 million, damn, that was quick. I think we have level 5 already in one go, it was like 1,700,000, and uh, let's check, level 1, okay, level 2, and level 3, level 4. And yep, there you go. We're already level five. It, it only took uh, one thing and that was again, I just went to the greasy gasoline and we got uh, a one, one million right away. Well, here we go again for negative point four. Let's wait. 200,000. Not too bad. Okay. But in any case, yeah, that so that is how that works. Let's do a short tour around Morado City before proceeding with the financial district build. Skyline 6 is a collaboration with six talented city builders with a few guest builders including myself. This city has so much to showcase and the progress is simply amazing for a vanilla city with only visual mods. Each collaborator have their own unique build and design styles and it's really satisfying to see a merged design into a single city. If you like what you see, check the city builder links in the description to follow the progress of Skyline 6. So earlier, I created a guide on the circumference of the circle tax area and now I am simply going to prepare the financial district blocks. I created a visual guide on what the global buildings look like in each level and it also includes the structure's overall dimensions such as if it is a 2x2, 3x3 or 4x4 building. With this information, I am able to plan specifically the size of the zonable blocks around the stock exchange. If you want a copy of this financial district globals guide, in the description of this video are my social links where I will post this guide including others such as the Heart of the Korea, uh, Plaza and the Promenades, Wall to Wall Buildings, and any other future vanilla globals and whatnot. Okay, we are extremely gridded around the stock exchange and that is all part of the plan. I have added an elevated metro station which will be our main viewing point of our stock exchange that is the centerpiece of this district. Now when it comes to zoning, you must follow the RCI demands of the city from left to right, which is starting from residential, commercial, then industry or offices. And if you follow this rule, you should not encounter any issues with a flatlining RCI. I have also zoned a city park district which will help fill in the inner blocks and increase the land value of the area. And as a reminder, metro and train stations generate immense noise pollution. 
hence why I opted to zone the local and organic produce commercial buildings around the metro stations. While the high-density residential are zoned further away from the metro station and are outside the circumference of the stock exchange tax area. Okay, now we can zone a few blocks of financial offices and with the visual global guide that I created, we can determine exactly what structure we need. But for the meantime, we will not mind what structures are erected until all the areas are filled in. Okay, the office demands have flatlined, so we need to return to zoning residential and commercial structures. Since I am building the financial district ways off and all the way to the border of a 25 tile city, I need to provide my own service structures to pacify any needs of this district. The service buildings are also necessary to assist in improving the land value that will increase the levels of our financial office structures. All right, let's check out the progress of our financial district area. And this was extremely coincidental how, on how they managed to uh, uh, erect these buildings here. And it's exactly the same style, but they are different models. So for instance, this one is a, a uh, jagged or uh, this is a wedged corner. So here is wedged and here is an actual uh, 90 degree angle. Uh, I think it looks neat the, on how it's uh, different. But if you go to top view, uh, that's where it starts to be more noticeable that it's completely different. And uh, actually, I did not want these things here. I want these uh, structures more. So I'm going to uh, we're, we're going to redevelop this. And we're also I also have a plan on how these guys are going to look. So they're not just going to be mixed uh, buildings. But before then, again, we are looking at our demands. So our residential have flatlined, but we want to make sure that we pacify the needs for commercial. So I'm going to go ahead and zone these things so I don't have to worry about them. Then we can do a uh, time lapse uh, doing the financial district uh, rezoning or rebuilding. In real time, this took about 25 minutes to get the right buildings. And to pass the time and so that it wouldn't seem as tedious uh, waiting for this long, I did other things like eat and watch Netflix on another screen. So again, my goal is to zone financial offices around the stock exchange, but we cannot just simply zone offices, then call it a day. We must always be patient and follow the city's demands of RCI. So in this instance, I am expanding our district area with high density residential and commercial in order to create more demands for offices. If we just continue to zone offices, the demand will eventually completely flatline and that is not something that you want. Therefore, follow the rules and zone residential and commercial. And as you can notice, it is creating more office demands as intended. And this is the basics of how to zone properly. Now that we again have more office demands, I am returning to zone financial offices around the stock exchange. If you noticed, I only zoned about two blocks of offices. Then the city demands again is looking for more residential and commercial. So it al almost appears that you need about 50% residential, 30% commercial, then 20% offices when zoning. This only means that we need more space just to fill in the two financial office blocks around the stock exchange. 
and i am honestly not sure if this is even all worth it considering that the mini dlc was just released and this is my first time to add the financial district into an existing city nevertheless our progress is so far so good uh, just look at how evenly balanced the city demands are which is absolutely perfect the addition to city park life structures also helps increase the land value of the area so they would level up. Here I am implementing the partial or mixed pedestrian path where the inner courtyard of the block will have the red path while the paths between the structures will be gray. Then I would curve the paths at the ends. Then from here is basically a rinse and repeat process of expanding residential and commercial. Then when there is enough office demands, I would zone uh, towards the stock exchange blocks. Although despite all of this, notice how I have transportations in place with the elevated metro station and tram tracks in the six lane avenue. So while you expand, you still have to consider how your citizens and tourists would be able to visit your new district. Oh my, did you notice how quickly the office demands dropped right after I zoned the two office blocks? So here we go again with the residential and commercial expand. I hope that I'm not overstaying my welcome as a guest builder in Skyline 6 Morado City. We will definitely explore and examine how well the financial district blends in with the rest of the city. It has been quite a while since I have been or since I have collaborated with other builders to grow a single city. And I actually hesitate to collaborate, uh, especially when it is heavily modded, because as the city grows, the more laggy the city becomes. But since this is a vanilla city with only visual and video recording mods, the city runs completely fine and I am delighted to be part of this magnificent city. Okay guys, just a few more blocks to go then we would completely engulf and develop around the stock exchange building. So we already have the metro station in place for long distance commute. And the last thing we need to consider are how vehicles such as trucks delivering and exporting goods to be able to enter and exit our area. This is vital to help reduce the traffic that is accumulating on the right. But no worries, the captain has a solution for this. So, But for the meantime, we will continue to focus on developing the district. It appears that we are experiencing tiny hiccups with a lack of death care and garbage facilities. So I will start by adding an additional cemetery accompanied by a crematorium. And we also need an elder care building and this location provides the most coverage with just one facility. And of course, we can't forget about including a child care building. The purpose for the child care facility is to increase the birth rate within the building's radius and it also provides benefits to children and teens while an elder care building increases the lifespan and provides health benefits to the elderly increasing the lifespan of your elderly will just mean that they would enjoy the rest of their days exploring and spending money on your city before kicking the bucket so these are the elderly unemployed sims that you see walking around your city paying taxes, going shopping for their grandchildren, and visiting your unique buildings and park life areas. So we've resolved the issue with death in the financial district by adding a few more health facilities, and now we will take an interesting approach to garbage collection. Instead of just simply adding a few scattered recycling centers, we are going to take advantage of the nearby ore resource and create a large landfill site with ore structures. 
This will be a multi-layered landfill site and we will use the medium-sized ore mine with the crane and make it appear that it is digging for the landfill. We will not overdo it though. Just two layers should suffice to pacify the needs in this corner of the map. So this is the only entrance point by vehicle to the financial district which explains the bottlenecking. So we need a much more efficient means to enter and exit this area. At the end of the tram track near the border of the city, we will extend the avenue for anyone that wants to build on the other side of the highway. Feel free to redesign the highway entrance and exit but for the meantime this should suffice. Ideally, this would be the entrance to enter the financial district, but when we return to the interchange, the traffic still looks pretty congested. But we also need to give time for the sims to realize that there is an alternate route. And speaking of alternate routes, I will create an alternate exit, then extend the avenue to go across the highway for anyone who wants to develop there. Though it didn't appear to have resolved the traffic, but I will make a few adjustments on this end by converting the two-lane small road to a four-lane, then we will convert the bottom road going in one direction. Okay, let's go back to the interchange and notice the traffic flow at 81%. And now we will further improve this by connecting our long-distance transportation which will reduce the number of cars on the road by a significant amount. Now that the tracks are connected, I will then simply drag the current stop and place it to the financial district metro station. Then return to the point of origin and create new stops that were relocated and that should do it. Let's return to the financial district metro station and watch the sims gather. Every sim in the station means less cars on the road. And to help pass the time, I went ahead and casually spent Skyline 6's money by gambling all the money into stock. And here comes the train, but it wasn't able to pick up all the passengers. So that means there are over 200 passengers in this station. So we will need to change the train type for something with more capacity. Hey, check it out. We got nearly 1,500 in one stop. So let's go ahead and change the train to have the maximum capacity. There is still traffic, but it is significantly much less. If we look at the other side, there are some vehicles taking this route, but it's much less than I would have hoped for. So let's make a few more adjustments and let's try to discourage vehicles from taking this route by adding a tow booth and maximizing its cost. So what would happen is some sims would choose to take the longer route than pay the toll. And after observing the traffic, it appears that we need a much quicker route to enter the highway while there does appear to be less vehicles entering through the toll booth. This will be a quick highway entrance heading towards the city. Let's fast forward the time lapse to let the vehicles reach their destination and would you look at that, the traffic is resolved. Let's check the other end and it is functioning as intended. The last but certainly not the least, we will need to provide transportation within the financial district and these are city services that will also help the financial offices level up. Other than trams, I will also add bus routes which will also assist in leveling up the structures. Do you hear the ding ding ding? That is music to my ears and you can already see some of the financial offices growing and I also have a design plan for them. 
I am going to do some offline edits such as changing the tram and bus models with an appropriate capacity, upgrade some roads, and I will also spend more of City Skyline 6's money into stock while waiting for the financial offices to level up. The level 1 financial offices carefully planned in one block looks excellent while the level 2 and level 3 only looks great when they are mixed together creating a staircase appearance. Overall, I enjoy the new mechanics and structures in the Financial Districts DLC. After you have established your 4 Industries DLC, there is only the generic offices and IT clusters. But now we have the financial districts that have multiple structure models and looks best when formed into a block. If you enjoy the build and are looking for more educational city management while maintaining an aesthetically pleasant design, hit that subscribe button and comment down below on what you like about the build. This is Captain Obvious, thank you for watching and for choosing to fly with Obvious Airlines. Have a great day and I will see you in the next flight.